again and again These girls might be tears, but I recommend Chasing the bag, get what you had, and always keep it wild and kid What's up, everybody? We back with another one. Man, we got one for y'all today, but she it's hot outside. Yeah. Go outside. Yeah. Go outside and you start sweating. Like, immediately. Pouring. Like, you came out the shop. Hey, I ride around no AC. Can't do it. I, you're a brave man. I can't do it. How about you keep a designated rag with you? You a demon. Now, it, it, it depends, though. If I'm trying to look good, I ain't going to ride around in that. But, you know. Uh, if you just crew? Yeah. Throw on a cutoff shirt. Okay, that's, that's fair. Yeah. Can't do it, man. I'll be one of them ghetto mugs with the <laughs> man plugged into the. Let me see. Larry the cable guy with the AC unit hooked up in the back one. I swear to God. <laughs> it's been a minute. Let's see. We don't have Father's Day. You know what I'm saying? Give a quick shout out to our LGBTQ people. Happy Pride. All right. Uh, what is it? Men's uh, Mental Health Month? Mental Health. Yes, Men's Mental is. Health Day. It is. And it's, it's been a good month for that. You know, I've been good. Hey, and the last month, it was a little rough. You know what I'm saying? But coming into this month, so far this month, I've been good, man. I can't, can't complain too much. I've been good, man. Now. Got my focus back right. I'm good to go. Now. There's a thing going around, boys. What's up? Hot tub. Ha! Ha! Man. Hey, it, it went viral. Well, first thing I want to know, have y'all experienced hot tub? For sure. Yeah, some, some, yeah. For sure. For sure. Uh, that damn sure experience. I've also experienced women that say they don't like to even do that, you know. They don't even like to give head, period. Shit. I'm like, yeah, you ain't gonna last long. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, you know, but the hot tub, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting it, but not hot tub. That's ready, shit. You got experience it, man. See, just, just make sure you're ready for that. You got to be ready. My soul's going to be gone? You got to be ready. <laughs> you're going to turn into a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to be a keeper. She ain't got no other bullshit with her. She's a keeper. She's, she's a keeper. But at the same time, a lot of people say hot tub and don't know what they're doing. There. So, I mean, you gotta plot a little bit. They trying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 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 Trying. Yeah. Don't make them ask for it no more. You gotta talk about Man, it's crazy. Everybody on the internet looking for it. And I'm like, try looking for it, folks. Oh, God. And we don't we don't know if it's true because you brought it up. We don't know if it's real or not, but. um. You said you said something like she was a kindergartner. Or it's a, it's, it was a post on there saying she was a school teacher. She got fired when the video came out, stuff like that. Don't quote us. We don't, we don't know for sure. You and can't believe it. You can't believe it. You can't believe everything. You can't believe everything you hear and see on the internet. Yeah. Oh, God. it is Kayla. That's why. Oh yeah, God, is. she got fired. But it be stuff like that too, though. Like they will fire you even though you was on your own time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I wasn't at work. I was. See, I don't Not think that's time. fair. Honestly. You ain't got me on video doing nothing. You got me saying, uh, spit on that thing. Like, you weren't doing it at home, well, you know? Even, even, let's just say there's a teacher that has an OnlyFans. Let, let's just say, if they not on school grounds, they not promote, like, say they keep their school life and they OnlyFans life separate, but let's just say a student finds them. I don't think that's fair. I don't really think teacher. there's no keeping it separate. After okay. a while, it's going to come. It's just like this. The school teacher got fired. Cause she was at work teaching drunk. Now that's a reason to be fired. But they said there ain't no rule against that. See, I know a few down here. <laughs> they was like pointing out oh and show me where that's against the law. To teach drunk? They couldn't. They couldn't figure. They, 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 they didn't say it was against the law. So she be the case. I, 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 know, the case. I, I know a teacher down here. She, she oh yeah, case. I know. On a lunch break, you go take swig and hey. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying she be the case. I was like, there you go. So uh -huh. going back to this, I did a little side interview on the street, saying hawk to a spit on that thing. Yeah, you ain't find me for that, man. Come on. See, I feel like if she, if she actually did get fired, she needs to fight that. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. I don't that. know though. I'll probably go find a new job. Cause it's probably gonna be a hassle going through all that. That's what I'm saying. Me, 
if I go through something like that and I beat the case, I don't want to be there no more. Fair. Just because I see how y'all are now. Well, it's the principle. So, uh, Ain't like they took away the time. It's there too. It's the principle behind yeah. it. So, like, I'm you fired me. I'm coming for my bag because you did me wrong, and then I'm leaving. Yeah, like, they I'm can't take home. a license out, so mm, she can still get a job. I mean, yeah. I'm, I just, I just don't think. Shit with the hot too. She might find a sugar, uh, sugar daddy. Oh me. God, though. <laughs> so, so, but like, so. I just, it just don't. I don't know. I don't agree with that because I'm like, you on your own time. You're away from school. Like, this is like what? What do teachers and staff always say? Whatever you do on non-school premises is your business. Yep. I think she need to trademark that though for sure. Cause uh, uh, yeah. pe- people making bank off of it right now. Uh, shirts. T-shirts, hats. Somebody hit me up. They like, man, I need like forty shirts. For hot too. I ain't doing it, man. I ain't, I ain't doing that no more. I ain't making stuff no more. But hey, I would have made a killing off of that. Oh, I would have. I ain't gonna count. I ain't gonna count. I would have called in at work, sat there 24 hours, made a bunch of it and sold it. It would have got gone. Speaking of another ridiculous thing, and you showed us this right before we started, the, the kid that had to sharpen his hair. Dude, they said uh, he got he got the haircut, you know what I'm saying? A little low cut with two lines on the side. Everybody does. Mm-hmm. Everybody does. And his dad even said he's been doing it for six months. But he said he walked in one day and the teacher was like, you can't have them two lines. You're going to get ISS. He's like, what the hell? But they trying to claim it as a distraction. So his mom uh, sharpie one of the lines in just for him to be able to go to school. I'm sorry, but That's Zach, cool Zach knows it. Zach knows as well as I do. What's up? Uh, that ain't the least bit of distracting thing in school. Because you used to have people go to school with the lines right here. The two lines right yeah. here. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. The stars in your head, everything. You can't call that a distraction when well, you got a teacher walking around here with a fat ass wearing leggings. Nah, they're going to make me learn. I said, I'm trying to be your favorite. <laughs> it, it's distracting. All right, because I'm not listening to nothing you saying when you teach. I'm looking at that ass and I might be hard right the the hitting the top of the desk. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, like I'm sorry, but I, I'm more distracted by because, honestly, some girls in high school be wearing damn near skin tight pants where I'm like, at this point, everything's showing. It's nah, just clothing. Yeah, one thing with them skin tight pants, but we can do that little pull up. Yeah, I know man. exactly. That's like telling a chick she can't wear thongs and leggings to school. If I can't have it in my hair and it's a distraction, shit, I used to fall asleep in high school. Be sitting there like this. <laughs> and I just look up, be like, damn. And that shit gonna keep me woke. I still ain't focusing on shit you saying. <laughs> but this is a distraction. You know what I'm saying? You calling this a distraction, man? Come on. Nah, man. I feel like they just. Everything is so nitpicky here yep. lately. Like, everything is just being scrutinized. Yeah, I know how I feel. Homeschool. Homeschool? Yeah. If you want your kid to be prepared for life, I feel like it's better than taking them to public school or yeah, even some private school. Also, yeah. was this kid in public or private school? I was in a public school. Most likely public. If this is a fucking public, y'all motherfuckers can't tell me shit. This is public. I can understand if it was private because they got more rules. Yeah, but if it's a public school, motherfucker, this is government ran. You not telling me shit. Exactly. Exactly. I'm you know saying we 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 into some bullshit right now. I'm speaking of bullshit. What happened to Boosie? Dad. <laughs> Yankee promoters. That's <laughs> what it was. Yankee oh, promoters. I don't know who the promoters was, but you can't have a, a big person come to perform and you not have their money. Yeah. And when he get to the state to do the performance, you not answering your phone, this and that. You got, man, you got to be real and be a book. Keep it a book. I got your money. Let's do this. Because after I do this, you're going to keep doing business with me. Mm-hmm. And all, and all. I got you to come. I ain't got your bread. Nah, you you could be mad at the whole state, the whole town. I was about to say, some some artists, they may be like, oh, I ain't coming to perform back in Little Rock again. Exactly. Like, that's the thing is, the promoters don't realize. Y'all make, it, y'all make Arkansas look bad. Facts. Like. Yeah, we were just up one with uh, the, uh, Ain't I Fresh. You know? <laughs> yeah, we just up one now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, take it back down a notch. Yep, take it back down a notch. Like, I don't understand Arkansas, period. 
like talent. We got people who want to come here. Yeah, a lot of talent here too. And we got the most hating ass people. Yeah, we do. We do. So nobody like, want to see other people doing better than them. That's crazy. Really? We we can all eat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We can all eat, and every day I got you can have, you can have. You just got to put the work in and do it. Like, it's sad when I know local artists from here that are saying they're from, like, Memphis or St. Louis, so they don't represent Arkansas. It gets them in the dough better. And, and that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was about to say. It's crazy that you got to do that because it actually works sometimes. Yeah. It gets you on quicker and this and that. If you got to do that, just do it. Dang. Them people ain't up. Uh, Supporting you anyway, but even the ones that are real art, so they got to go elsewhere, like Kansas, or Oklahoma, yeah. mm -hmm. or Memphis, Atlanta, different places. Get going, like so. Arkansas, like our goal, because we talked about our goal is to put Arkansas and like actually expose it, but it, it makes no sense because you see how many artists come out of Memphis because motherfuckers be supporting. Yep. They don't just hate, and I'm like, I, I don't, I don't get what is so. I don't know if it's because of the Bible Bell. I don't know if it's because we got a bunch of uh, old mindsets that don't want to evolve or whatever. Arkansas is. Yes. But it's nothing but a bunch of haters. Yeah, that's all it is. And it ain't just it ain't just us. It's, it's the older people, too. Mm -hmm. Say you want to put a good, nice business in Jonesboro. You ain't going to be able to do it because you got all these church going people. Ooh, we don't want that. Why not? I'm bringing jobs to the uh, to the town. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everything. But you you just against it. Like I'm why? I'm sorry. Arkansas, especially Jones, bro, don't need no more churches. And this ain't hating no my religious people. We got plenty of banks, chicken spots, and churches. Thank mm -hmm. you, Zach. Mm -hmm. So, and when we get somebody who brings something new, we might have it for what a month or two before it goes away. Yeah. And then another chain comes, or another church, another bank. We gotta do better as a whole. That's what it is. It ain't gonna happen. It won't. It won't. I feel. I feel like leaving not soon, and not soon. I feel like we'll be better because we are trying to actually expose people. But I definitely feel like if folks still just want to hate and not because like how hard is it just to support like what hurts you by supporting and the most yeah, correct way i genuinely feel like it's going to take some folks to die off before the major change really it is. Really it, is. it is it is that's what i always say about a lot of stuff it's going to take a lot of life changing stuff to happen to people for them to change so you got to look who got money it's the older folks mm -hmm. older folks probably going to have to die off for yep. us to really make changes and have input. Mm -hmm. Like, I hate, I like. That's why we're here to the, to the White House, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sorry, that dad actually brings up a good point. Yeah. Uh, all them old people that makes the laws for well, us. They represent us, but they not living in. I'm about, to, I'm about to say, time. all these people that making the laws, changing everything, and doing all these different stuff that's going to affect us down the line, they ain't going to live to see that. They ain't going to live to do the damage. And they stuck in their ways. You watch all these movies or you see all this stuff going on in life to where you got to mix a little bit of old school with new school for it to be great. Mm -hmm. You, you can't just be stuck bit. with old school all the way through life. You know what I'm saying? You got to roll with the punches and, and go with how things, get the flow and how things going. Mm -hmm. You know, something came up one day I was listening and they were like, yeah, uh, y'all go out all the time like to eat without the kids. This is 2024. This is 2024. Okay. I bust my ass all week. My wife busts her ass all week. If we want a dinner for two, let's go do it. But guess what? Fridge, cabinets, everything in the house going to be full for them to get whatever they want. Plus, you know what I'm saying? They walk around with $1,000 iPhone 14, 15s, 100 to $200 tennis shoes, this and that. Also, let's... But I got to take them to eat every time I go eat somewhere. Well, let's not even keep it a bang. Let, let's just keep it. Let's just keep it as it is. You and Gwen spoil yourself very rarely. I'm sure. Like the kids are always with y'all. So people who are hating, saying that, goddamn, can I'm just, I mean, I'm just saying, like back in the day, 
Whatever my parents used to, uh, used to go eat, they used to always take those with us. Well, shit, that's okay. how you want to pay. Okay, yes. that's what I'm saying. But back in the day, did you have a $1,000 phone? Nope. Did you have the $200 tennis shoes? Did you have six more of those pair in your closet? Nope. No. You know what I'm saying? I some poo <laughs> But yeah, you got, that, you got that meal, okay. Then like you another aspect, you know. Then you, gotta, you gotta maintain your two. Exactly. And on top of that, you got a family of five, six, seven. You go to a restaurant. Oh god. Two of these little badasses don't like the shit that's in here. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this one, uh, it ain't even nah that. Okay, so that's three that could have stayed at home. You get, you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Come on. Yeah. Make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? Times have changed. You gotta go with it, man. You can't just be stuck in your ways and expect everybody to live how you live. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You can't do that. It's just crazy. So I'm like, wow. That's like the downside on having social media and putting stuff out there. Yeah. That, you know. Because I say stuff back and I don't be trying to sound like no asshole. It's just like, yeah, they, I go out all the time without the kids. Show the fuck do. That was my reaction. I'm like, oh shit, well, I didn't mean to say that in a bad way, mm -hmm. but this is what I mean by it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mom. Even yeah, I mean, if I did go out of the kid, I probably wouldn't post this shit. This is my downtime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My thing is, is like Zach said, and it's just, it's blunt and it's brutal and motherfuckers, if you pissed off by it, then that's your opinion and good for it. But like you said, it's going to take off. It's going to take a lot of this older generation dying off for a lot of things to change and a lot of shit to start progressing. Because honestly, the old, the, the older folks are just stuck in their ways. Yeah. They don't want to change. Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. It's, it's a bad balance. thing. Yeah. It's a balance with it. It's a bad thing when you got the older folks that were stuck in these ways and the shit was working. Like as far as these uh these uh what do you call them? Businesses. Mm -hmm. It's working well, it's working for the town, the state, everything. They die off and it gets to their kids and that shit just go to hell. Mm -hmm. Let me raise the prices, this and that, and then shit don't work the same. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta balance it out. Some shit works, some shit don't. Some shit you gotta make a slight change. Can't just be stuck in the same ways forever, or you're gonna be. And also, another thing of uh, schools, I get it, having rules and everything, but for fuck's sake, we, kids, these are still kids at the end of the day. Stop making it like it's a literal prison. Because I know my high school experience, a lot of the things that were rule wise, it, it felt like I was constantly under surveillance. Like, it felt like you couldn't breathe a certain way or you might get to sent to the office. Yeah. And I'm like, we're still kids. Yeah. Like, how many how many people you think would have probably not been suspended, Zach? If the, if but the way school is formatted is still the same as 100 years ago. And that's the problem. So That's the problem. They didn't build to be led into factories and stuff like that if you're really looking down into it. So, mm -hmm. the reason why they walk in single file lines and all that goes into it. So, yeah. yeah. Shit just crazy these days, man. We're in 2024. We got people stuck in 1960s. You know what I'm saying? For real. You got people looking at other people and how they living and comparing it to them to where it makes them want to hate the other person. Feel like the end of the world. Really? I think folks sit down and really just come together on like the different generations because our generation, we real involved in what's going on back then mm -hmm. as clothes and hairstyles from back then is still around and yeah. just all the little stuff. So it's like, we can make it work. For sure. We can definitely make it work. That would happen, I don't know, but yeah. it can happen. You see, no disrespect, we see how a lot of racist people change. I'm saying, yeah, there's still some out there, but a lot of them change, you know. Tough thing to have a, a light skinned grandbaby. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> change the way they look at things, you know. So. My, my, my biggest thing is um, for the people who are like, oh, racism isn't as bad as it. Motherfucker. It's still bad. It's still bad. It's just no longer acceptable. Exactly. Motherfuckers used to accept that shit. Ain't gonna lie. Long, long time ago, it flew out of older people's mouth. I'm gonna have to let it slide. I gotta walk away. These days, mm -hmm. you said, sorry, bro. Handling right there on the spot. 
Sadly, in the black community, I feel like that'd be the only time we'd be on the same court. Yeah. That is, and that is sad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is sad, because you, you think got so much black on black crime, you know. But I mean, I'm but not. Unless something like that happen, I'm, we come together. But I'm not even going to lie. You have some who don't even mind it. They're like, yeah, you can say that word. And yeah, like, it, it all depends on who you're around. You got to know that. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, I get, like, if you don't mind them saying it, like, that's y'all and that's how y'all operate. But you get to a point where you're like, how is this word becoming so normal? I'm like, mm -hmm. everybody yeah. and their mother saying it. But it's part of the culture that everybody want to be part of. So, and, and the thing is, is that that's cool and all. But, motherfucker, sometimes something cultures ain't for you. Yeah. Like growing up, we couldn't even say it in our own house. We couldn't even say it, you know. No, I, am, I didn't, and yeah, I still so don't like, say it much now, unless I'm just around a certain group of folks. And, yeah. But it still come out here. That it's still ready to come out. Yeah. But uh, but that's the thing is like I'm sorry, like white people, and I'm speaking to white people. What is a lot of y'all's infatuation with the N word? You know what? In legitimately, shit, and boy, and boy, like what? What makes these words so fun to y'all to use. I'll be real with you. It's really, uh, from what I've seen, white females are more accustomed and get away with saying oh. nigga than the white males. Cause I mean, when you think about it too, and the way they do it, it's like, oh, I'm having sex with a black dude, so and I'm cool with all the homies, so I can say it. But take you out of that environment and you get got your ass fucked up because you thought you was cool like that. Yeah. Then that's still on you because you got to know your surroundings. When we black, see, there's certain words we don't do or certain do, and that's around black folks. So, yep. It all depends. And, and you know me. We, we've we known each other. Yeah. How many times y'all try to get me to say that motherfucker? Oh, okay. I don't know if y'all, I was heavily on that, but if. You you did it a few times. It was mainly my boy, Baller City. Um, <laughs> That boy, Otello, wanted, that boy said, I'll pay you 50 bucks to say. I said, Otello, it's not my word. And I have no reason to say it. I'll call you a cracker if you want me to. <laughs> but I'm not going to say the other one. Yeah. And it, it's like there's just certain things like white people. It's okay not to be involved with. It's okay not to want to be and do it. Because I would even say folks, well, so there's some white folks like, yeah, I grew up in the hood. This and that. I'm like, your makeup still not nigger. So I'm going to just keep real with you. <laughs> And you think your genetics is still Caucasian or whatever it's from. You up in the hood, it ain't no disrespect because you have been around them folks. So just make sure you're saying around them, that's what you're saying. But yeah. around me, I ain't really trying to hear it because I'm, I'm not people. saying that as much as I am a black person. And yeah. the people I've been around not saying that heavy either. So you come around me saying that, nah, I'm finna cut all that, yeah. all that off. Yeah, and then I'm be, I'm be chill about it. But shit, you catch the wrong motherfucker and I ain't, I'm that, not gonna stop me. Yeah. That's yeah. the other thing is, a lot of people ain't like us. Like, y'all, if y'all heard it, you know, y'all handle how you do. Yeah. And it might be an ass whooping, it might be a bitching. Some people just might shoot you. Yeah. I, yeah. I get my way to be that culture, but it's still, you know, it's our makeup. Mm -hmm. so. and, that, and that's why, I, like, I've never, I'll never have that argument. I'm like, oh, it's just a word. No. Even, yeah, it's just a word, but motherfucker, it ain't ours. Like, check out with it at the time. You know, I'm laying in the bed. A friend come over. They talking. That's all I hear. Not, not, not from her, but from her friend. <laughs> like, man. And she just breathing. What do you do? Breathing, just rolling, rolling, what do you do rolling. Because I know my position. And I hear it more than once. So I'm sitting here like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, damn, I want to file for See, her. See, you got the one that's taking too far. But that's what I'm saying. saying like, and, and she was. She's taking too far. And then I was like, but... If I pop her ass, I'm going to jail. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Big black motherfucker, little white chick. Mm -hmm. I'm going to jail. Um, if I do it too bad, she might lose a friend. <laughs> Y'all, you let them do it to me. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, mm. let me sit here and shut the fuck up because I ain't about to be around long. I ain't gonna lie. I don't say nothing just because I know the next motherfucker they come across and it ain't making on Exactly. So that come to my mind. I'm like, the way it's rolling off her tongue, it ain't gonna stop. 
So she's gonna come across that one. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's gonna be him. And I ain't gonna lie, if you say it here and there, you might it might slide. But you saying it often, like it's highlighted. It's like so every sentence. Like, I was about to it's say it's like every sentence. Now if you I'm say like, something yeah. like did it say nigga? Like you gotta think about it. So if you don't say it that often, mm -hmm. no, we're not gonna think much of it. <laughs> no, nah, I you actually just hit on something I was actually about to say. Yeah. Like say the white person gets the card, like, yeah, you can say it around us. Okay, cool. You can say it. That don't mean abuse it. Like you were saying, not every other word needs to be. Right. If if y'all don't say every other word, why the fuck are the white? The way people? that it's rolling off the tongue, I'm like, this is part of your every day. Isn't it? It could not even bar, be part of their every day. They is just using it to use it at that point because y'all right. gave them the okay. And, and I'm sorry, white people, you give an inch, you take a mile. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, I'm white, hey, but I'm gonna hey, call hey, y'all out. You you think that's funny, but shit, how the way the land is. <laughs> <laughs> they done kicked it down, maybe, what is it called now? The Indian trial? The, uh, the, what is it? The fucking trial? I bet it's a big. Yeah, so I'm like, you know, took an inch, did take a mile. <laughs> oh, God. But that's the thing, is like, like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the voice of white people. Bro, we fucking suck sometimes because you don't understand stuff. There, there, there's just certain stuff that is not for us. There is just certain things that is not meant for us. Yeah, and that's okay. They gave y'all a second to wheel to show y'all around. Y'all put a baby in. Right. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> it's also one of those things where you flying off of the mouth, this, 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 and I pop you. You're like, shit, what I do? The fuck you mean what you do? Oh, God. What do you mean? Okay, but, hey, they, man, but they, were, we were cool. they were right there. It's like, it's just certain saying you can't be mad at that person as much because whoever allowed them to do it, that's what we got to really. That's why I was like, like it's not on me to handle this. It's not on me to handle this. She only about to be around me for a couple minutes and that's it. And get the fuck out of my way. And, and here's here's the thing. And we we not even getting into the difference. This this could just be the one with the A. Have y'all ever had anybody say with the R around y'all? It's been a long time. I was real young when that was going on. And I think last time I'm having at MacArthur, a few folks, they kind of like, kind of play with it. But I, I have a feeling I know who you're talking about, too. Oh, you, you do. It was a group of them. Yeah. Yep, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Like my, my wife's dad's side. You know, they were racist or whatever. Yeah. My father in law is like, man, I heard y'all going to meet him this weekend. I was like, yeah. He's like, what you think? I said, man, I'm just play it, play it by ear and see how it go. Mm -hmm. He's like, man, I know the situation. And he said, if that comes out, by all means, you got to do what you got to do. He said, I'm not going to look at you no certain type of way. I'm not going to feel no type of way. You got to do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. So I was like, say less. I'm glad to hear that it coming from you, you being white too. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? So oh, people understand that people know. Oh, that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? My, so when they tell you that about somebody else? Like, I'm putting my 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 family on notice right now because they they know the history with my family. Any of y'all say that word around me or around them, they have a hundred percent my blessing to beat the fuck out of y'all. Beat the living piss out of y'all. And I'ma laugh. I'ma laugh. They have my blessing. My old lady don't play no way. So if, if something would have went that way, she first went on your head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so it's like so yes. Any oh, I don't want to uh, so any of my family that is on that yee yee side, <laughs> you say it, they have my blessing. Whatever happens, it happens. I might put it on World Star <laughs> and, and post you because you might deserve an ass beat. <laughs> the angle right. uh, uh, thinking about it to be honest, what do you you know? In it from the back with a white woman, and she says, "Oh, nigga, you in it right?" Or some some <laughs> the lines are just some wild shit to say. How y'all react in that moment? And even you being your skin color, you can still say something. That makes still throw you off. Yeah, if they call me that. I'm gonna be huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because I can't just straight up say. I can't straight up say that I'm a finish. You know what I'm saying? Because it's depending on who it is. And, you know what I'm saying? What's going on for me to be able to finish? I might handle that dirt. You keeping the same stroke? 
I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. I might handle that during and, and we cut it, we through, and we better talk about this right now, or it's gonna be after I finish. I don't know. It depends on I the situation. Like he gonna either way it goes, either way we talking about yeah, it. Yeah, it could get bad. Either way it goes, we talking about it. But I don't know if I'm gonna finish or or not. Nah, I feel like you gonna try to actually hurt something. <laughs> so at the same time, man, you can't do that. The women these days, they like to be choked, and they, they, you know what I'm saying, they like it rough like this. So. Yeah. Like shit. Oh, yeah, they might see nigga more. So I'm saying, choke oh, me on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, choke me. I'm training you to keep on with the shit. So I don't know. I need to stop. You know what I'm saying? I need to stop. We need to handle this real quick. We need to handle this real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want to do the role play on this part. <laughs> not not built. No. Not built. See. But like I said, if it's so good, you ain't going to stop. And then you go, you gonna want to immediately forget what she just said so you can finish. I ain't gonna. It depends on how good it is. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. You gonna immediately forget what she said. I gotta finish this shit, man. So, Think about something else. I, I guess. Because it may be so good, you may not even hurt it. But that too. Here's the thing, though, Zach. Because you said I can answer this question. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I would think if somebody called me that. If I'm fucking a white girl and she, first of all, to me that's gonna sound like she used to. Hold on, so black hold on. There, there might be some props to you saying time. That too, that too. Bob will be talking about that. That's a lot of shit with that. Sound like she used to doing black dudes. Yeah. But if you hitting it so good for that to come out of my mouth, it sound like you up to par with the other black dude that's been hitting it. So he's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, mm, this is kind of crazy. Oh, God. It's going to mess with you a little bit for a second. Man. So you got to figure out what you want to do. Stop. Keep going. Also, what do you think about since y'all were talking about role playing, these people who do that, the role playing, and it's like to them. <laughs> as long as they keep it in their room, they're between them two. The ones that come out and pull. That, that's different. That's different. Like, I didn't know this. Do, do those suits, that ass have like a fucking dick hole? The, what? the furry suits? They make them wear like. You I don't know. Like, like back in the day. The ones used that came out back in the day, mm -hmm. they came out with the spot in the back to where you go use the bathroom without having to take them off. But you know, once you get in the bedroom, it's a different kind of furry. Now you can have a butt they plug with your tail for, on. You know that makes shit for everything now. So. Oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah, it makes shit for everything. Oh, boy, oh, first of all, I don't. Here, here's here's my thing. Say, say you're talking to this girl and you don't know nothing about it. What what What's going to be. Y'all's reaction, and she just walks out with the room with a butt plug tail. I don't know you, so I'm kind of be offended. No, this is a girl you talking to. With the tail, I don't know. Oh, okay. And she yeah. said you don't know. If you, got, if you got the butt plug oh, in, my period. My I got a butt plug in by itself. Okay, tail, I don't know. But butt plug in by itself, she a freak. Like, this is a... Damn, she's a freak freak. Let me reword it. Uh, a girl that y'all know... But she just now showing you that side type shit. So she might just walks out randomly with it. How y'all react? First of all, the question. Cause I ain't, I ain't new to this. But is the tail supposed to mean something? It don't have to, but you know, people that in that world with the furries and whatnot, like, they may be some shit they do. Okay, so I don't mean nothing like, oh, I'm your pet, no type shit like that. I think. Okay. It's, so, so, I mean, so, no, so, I don't so, know. They might. It all depends on who it is. They might role play and really be like that, but because I know some people who do furries, they're like, I'm imagining myself as a full on animal, and then some people do like the I'm your pet type shit. So I mean, it could. Or they might be full on animal in the bed and everything else. You know, I, I don't know. But if I see it in normal interaction, it ain't gonna fuck with me. Mm -hmm. I but if it is, then I say I fucked fur. But if I'm fucking with you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We already doing dirty on a normal basis. And you just come out of nowhere like that, okay? She, she likes she likes that too, you know? Mm -hmm. Freak. Bring that freak out. And you fuck with somebody so long, you're going to bring that out anyway. You know what I'm saying? But she bring the freak out, I'm like, oh, she comfortable, comfortable. So. I might be she like, like she like it like this, okay. I might be like a little taken aback because I mean, there's a tail coming out of your ass, but I mean, it's still a butt plug. I'm looking. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I see it like that. I mean, I'm still gonna ask, what's with the tail? See, I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. I see what you got in. What's I, with the tail? Like, I, I want to ask. That. Are you putting the butt plug out though? Probably not. 
<laughs> Cause I ain't know what how, how y'all got down, but you just had to ask. Are you pulling the butt plug out? Yeah, cause something that's probably gonna go in. That depends. <laughs> that big that. that really depends. Ooh. Grab like the hair and grab the tail at the same time. Yeah, but grab the tail too hard, you know. That might hurt. But like I was saying, these motherfuckers be liking that shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's, it's yeah. a discussion. It's a discussion. It's a discussion that you're going to have with them. Like, like, because I'm not judging you at all. No. Nah. You walk out of the room, you're like, I'm not judging you at all. I am going to ask about the tail. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, but you also, like, I ain't going to Okay. Okay. Good to know. Like, you know I, but I'm not going to judge you. Like, I'm judge you. don't get me wrong. People like what they like. Furries, I, it is what it is. Like, I don't understand it, but I have nothing against it. It's just when you try to overly push it. Like, like uh, some people who are furries are like, oh, you have to accept this. Like, no, I can I can be like, you do you and I'll do me, but I'm sorry, I don't necessarily want to wear cat ears and a butt plug tail yeah. and have a first. Yeah, they like you without it, why they, why they want you to put it on now? Yeah. Because you know how some people like, it's a good example. Some yeah, people, that sounds like you recruit. Keep, keep things fighting. <laughs> like, Some people want to keep the fighting and switch things up. Just mm-hmm. you know, keep it going. And you got these certain groups like vegans. If you ain't vegan, you this, that, the third. Yeah. So everybody, they try to make everybody that. Or you got the. They just, just in categories. And that's the thing is like, I have nothing against vegans. Just don't shut it down my throat. Yeah, no. And I'm weird. I'm weird anyway when it comes to the bedroom. You know, so I'm weird. I'm saying certain stuff. Just weird. Don't. Yeah, what you mean? Like, mm-hmm. we're we gonna, we gonna take it to the side then, okay? So, hey, I think you're already there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all, right, uh, all right, I'm getting here, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm getting here. This shit feeling good here. But if I'm getting here and, and some part of your body is pressing too hard oh, on my yeah, leg, I hate this shit. on my leg, oh, I'm about to sit here and enjoy this feeling because you better be there forever. Mm-hmm. Me, like, you ain't came yet? No. I really can't. There's something with the circulation. I ain't, I ain't going right now because it's fine. Oh, God. It's fine. But I ain't. Yeah, just because I'm going to come. Mm-hmm. You got all this pressure right here. I'm thinking about both of these at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Or, I'm, I'm, I, I, I help them for Or them. I can do some good, good, good sweaty sex. But I don't want to be fucking hell in the room. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Know. I'm in there 30 minutes. Now. You ain't came yet? Nope. Yeah, I might even went soft. Nah, but you wondering why? Bitch, I'm hot as fuck. If the shit you know starts sticking to my skin, I, I, if the sheet starts, like, that's my biggest thing. When I have sex, my sheets come the fuck off. Because if my sheet starts sticking to my skin, I don't. Shit, like. I put the sheets off. Like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just, like, just like them socks. If you ain't on the side of him, with them, with them yeah. flops on them socks. Hey, well, was it come bad? On up. There was one time the only thing I kept on was my socks. I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I ain't saying I'm gonna keep my socks on. You look man. It depends though, cause you know, a lot of females keep their room covered, so I'm yeah. keeping my socks on. Just keep my, keep me warm and circulation going. Mm-hmm. So cold, that's what I'm saying, it's all about the circulation. It's going to go down quick. You need the circulation and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I, I went soft a couple times on females. She like, what? I'm like, man, I just need Air Force mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Like, real talk. Like real time, if I'm hot, I'm gonna hit it until I'm just, till I just can't go no more because I'm hot. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing to do with nothing else. Like I sit there and lay down for a second, and the wind blow across my face, it's like it blew down there too. I'm gonna, all right, let's go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it ain't nothing. Like, I, it ain't that I can't perform and it ain't nothing about you. It just, motherfucker gotta be comfortable, man. I don't know, if I'm hydrated, I don't want to look every side. Like, that 26, that's cool with me. I mean, you know I'm saying? We can get sweaty. Yeah. But shit, it don't need to be 80 degrees in there before we start. Mm-hmm. We supposed to make it hot, you know what I'm saying? We supposed to make it hot. Okay, like, I already be hot. Okay, then, now that's You know what I'm saying? Like, Man, y'all already supposed to be hot. We supposed to get it hot. No, I get what he's saying. Wait, like, you know yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta already think of it, like. Because like I said, I'll go forever or I'll just stop. Because I'll just be like, bro, I'm done. So, too hot in here. Especially if I'm in a familiar environment where I've already been in. Yeah. All right, turn the fan on. I ain't pointing to Emmy. I'm pointing right here. Yeah. So like that motherfucker point up, here, but I'm getting some circulation somewhere. It, it ain't touching. And I'm good. Uh, you know? Yeah. 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 It, it yeah. depends. No, yeah. I, I turn I turn the AC on and then have the fan going because like I don't know what it is like 
I, I the fan or ceiling fan? Ceiling fan. I don't know about that. And see, I, I, because it depends on certain shit you're doing too. Shit, that fan gonna dry you out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can have some wet, some wet coochie. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker back there hitting it. That fan in the world, it's gonna drop some shit up. My, my, my shit gonna drop shit up. up quick, or it just never got up. It's gonna drop some shit up. That, and that was the thing is the fan did fuck up before, cause it did. Yeah, it fucked us both up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Chemistry, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, that, that shit definitely don't bother me if I'm hydrated. Now, if I'm high, it's because I'm body high. Mm -hmm. It ain't like the room high. I can, I think I can be hot. It's just when stuff like starts sticking to my skin is when I start to get uncomfortable. So until that, if I'm just hot, we chilling. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't that Bonnaroo. <sighs> hey, I heard a wild ass story about Bonnaroo. Somebody came down. Uh, they in the woods, if y'all remember that spot. Uh, Somewhere, girl give me head. On the other end, motherfucker just clapping cheeks. Dang. Dang. I don't know woods? they're gonna make camera, but <laughs> they were just wild <laughs> shit. In the woods? Yeah, yeah that's what I heard. At Bonnaroo? Yeah. yeah. I got to talk to Angela, got to ask some stories. Oh, uh. Um, they just couldn't wait. It, this one might not make it either, but Mackenzie and um, John went to Bonnaroo this year and they actually enjoyed it. They they were like. That's it. My, my, my ex went Bro, to Bro, nipples. John? My ex went to Bonnaroo this year. Perfect. Damn. So, okay. Really? I can see that, though. That ain't fair. Oh, Andrew Kemp, too? <laughs> yeah. Nah, that ain't a surprise. Yeah, it ain't. Yeah. But, but nah. I only hate it because I ain't gonna see BS Blue, but yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna catch him at real concert. Oh, God. Where I ain't sweating my ass off. But do we got, we got anybody shout outs? Because I think we... I think we talked all the dirt talk we can we, <laughs> we can talk. <laughs> yeah. uh, right. I don't, I don't think so. It's it, it been a minute though. Uh, new intro coming soon. My boy yes. Durango Dave, the cameraman. You know, boy doing his thing out there right now. You know, if you look at music videos, anything, he can hook you up. Best. He can hook you up. I know a little bit of his menu. He got from behind the scenes to the mic drop. To the actual video, yeah. So he do pretty good, real good. That's dude right there. But nah, happy Pride Month, men's mental health. Check in on your folks. Check in on your family. Say, tell them you love them. And stop all this goofy shit, cause uh, spitting, uh, giving folks uh, HIV, police officers and shit is quite wild. What? Yeah. Um, yeah. Run it back. Yeah, real quick, before we end this. What? Girl exposed this man to, uh, well, a police officer to, uh, whatever, AIDS or ASCD yeah. or whatever. Because she's still? Yeah. And in his mouth. And what the description said. This, this is down here. Oh, shit, down here. Yeah, real shit. I ain't heard this. Damn. Yeah, it's all over. Oh, I'm looking this wow. up. Wow. Yep. That, that need to be put out on blast. Oh, yeah. yeah. It just came to my mind now, but it was on my people mind. Need, I people need, need to know who that is. That's so they don't disgusting. Get, uh, also, since... Is she on the jail roster? Good. Okay. Good. Because <laughs> what we're we having... Big, big light. That was, that was, okay, it yeah. said it's supposed to, but I didn't know the story behind it. Yeah, yeah. I seen the mugshot. Oh, damn. I seen the mugshot. I did. Also... I did. We gon' They said it's frozen, but they ain't say it's frozen. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I, so I get what you're saying now. Yeah, I know what you're saying. But yeah. no, we'll wrap it up after here. Yeah. If you know you have a sexual transmitted disease, don't fuck anybody without protection and give it to them. And if you're talking to somebody, let them know. Oh, God. Let them know. Because there will be certain people who don't care. Because like I said, you can't tell somebody how to react to something you're doing to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can never say somebody overreact. That's the way they react. Exactly. Like, I'm sorry, but. So if you give me something and I find out. Yes. You might disappear from the face of the earth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how serious it'll be. When all you have to do is let me know. Swear and let me choose what I wanted to do. So we're going to end it off there. If you got some junk in the trunk, keep that bitch in the trunk. Or at least tell your partner about the junk in the trunk <laughs> and let them make the joke. <laughs> you do that as well. <laughs> Drinking water, stay hydrated, hot as hell out here.
We the A7 on social clubs. We out.